The legal operational framework relied on rules of engagement and use of force procedures that require sequential checks. Detection, visual identification, risk assessment, decision approval at the operations center, and execution by the platform certified to employ the specific munition. Technical claims were backed by digital artifacts, radar tracks, optical recordings, and timestamps, ensuring actions could be reproduced and audited after the operation. The technical review comes down to this. In this operation, the F-35 fighters did not act as simple air-to-air -air platforms, but as integrated tactical nodes, fusing sensor data, executing electronic warfare functions, generating target packages, and synchronizing actions down to the second. Their hardware and software capabilities drastically reduced uncertainty and compressed the time between detection and firepower. Overall, the U.S. established a coordinated maritime air presence in the Southern Caribbean, deploying surface warships, submarines, P-8 patrol aircraft, MQ-9 drones, and F-35 fighters. The operations included detection, classification, and strike missions against surface targets, all conducted through a networked architecture of sensors and strike platforms.